Hi, I'm Megan. I'm Anna. And welcome to Wing Creativity Knox. We are very excited today. We're doing something a little different. We're doing a live workshop here at the Southern Women's Show in Charlotte, North Carolina. And even more exciting, we have a live audience. I love when people come with us to craft. So um, today we're doing a really exciting project. We're yeah. making a... A holiday Christmas ornament using the new Martha Stewart acrylic paints and stencils from Plaid. Very nice introduction, Thank Mother. Thank you so, so much. So we're going to get started with that right after this. excited because one of the only craft projects that I think I'm good at besides scrapbooking is playing with acrylic paints and Martha Stewart has now introduced a new line and there is five different finishes in this collection very exciting there's a satin a high gloss there is pearl metallic and my personal favorite glitter, glitter. <laughs> so today we're going to be making a fabulous ornament and uh, from the looks of it I get to play with some glitter today Yes, you do. The paints are available at Michael's exclusively, and Plaid is the manufacturer of them. They've done a fabulous job. They go on all services, wood, uh, glass, fabric, all different surfaces, so you don't need to have different kinds of paint for different surfaces, and I think that's the most exciting part about this new line. And um, just an FYI, we made some very cute wine glasses before, and those can go in the dishwasher. Yes, they can. Just so you can so even you know. glass to the, yeah, to the dishwasher. Okay, so can we play with glitter? So what I thought would be really fun to do today is make a little ornament with the holidays coming up. And what we did, this is actually just stenciled right onto this little wood disc. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And I believe uh, Martha has conveniently created a fabulous line of stencils, which yes. we will be using today yes, as well. Yes, she has as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a, a plain disc. This is from Three Ring Circles. And we actually drilled holes in them. Actually, Cindy's husband drilled holes in them for us. Thank you, Cindy's husband. Um, a quarter inch hole in the circle. And then what we're going to do, the next thing, is to top coat them. And to top coat them, I use the um, summer linen. And I top coat on both sides, but not along the edge. OK? So. And is this working as our primer, Mother? Well, it's kind of a primer, and we kind of decided that we like that you can see the wood through it a little bit. You could put more coats on it if you wanted to, but we wanted to give it really that kind of whitewash, kind of beach kind of look to it. Okay. okay. So now it's already dried, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to pick one of the stencils out. There's also a, a whole new line of stencil brushes that go along with this Martha Stewart oh, craft Martha, line as she well. she thinks of everything, I tell you. Now, I love sand dollars, and so I've chosen to put the sand dollar and put it right on the top, like so. And one package comes with six natural brittle brushes. Yes, and I'm going to, this is actually called Root Beer Float. The names are Sold. just so yummy. So I put a little bit of Root Beer Float on my um, paper plate. And if you haven't stenciled before, let me put this right here. What you do is you just pick up a little bit of paint on your brush, and then you're going to tap it, tap it off, actually. You're just going to tap it. You see how I'm doing that? Why, so I'm actually, why, why? Well, because you don't want globby paint when you stencil. You want to get a nice, smooth surface to come out. I'm going to hold this down, and I'm just going to start tapping. This is when you, if you have children, you can get your aggravation out if they've given you a hard time during the day. I don't know what you're talking about, Mom. <laughs> Even your adult children. Now the great thing about these stencils are they are reusable. Oh, definitely. I'm not I'm not a girl for one time use stencils. I'm not into that. I like to reuse my stencils. When you know, I slipped it off, that's really okay. You're just gonna line it right back up. This one's for Megan, this one's for Matthew. All those ones before were for my sister Juliet, so. <laughs> now when I remove that, there we go. 
I could have worked a little longer and made this a little bit more solid, but you got, girls get the general idea. Perfect, so we'll just give that a second to dry and we'll move on to our next step. Okay, so now that we've had an opportunity for our stencil image to dry a little bit, we're just gonna add some more texture and yes. dimension, some more of these fabulous yes. colors. And you can mix the satin and the glitter and the, you don't have to stay with the one um, type of paint as you're okay. going through. The next one I'm gonna do is I'm putting a little bit of surf along the edge. Man down. And here again, I'm using a little bit smaller brush, mm. but really you can use any of the size of the brushes to do this. So I'm gonna take our little, and I'm just gonna tap right along the edge like so. Actually has a very good texture to it when you're using these brushes. That's stencil brushes, honey, that's what they do. Well, not all of us are stencilers, Mom. You will be after this episode. This is probably the truth. Let's just skip to the glitter. <laughs> skip to the glitter. So you get the idea, you're gonna go all the way around the edge. And then you're going to come back in with, uh, you can use a, a paint brush or you can use a foam brush. And I'm going to now paint copper along the edge of my um, little wood disc. This just in, I am very excited to announce that it is glitter time. <laughs> Yay! Yeah! The glitter is, there's this wonderful glitter in the paint. It has a slight tint, but when you paint it on, it almost comes across clear. Do you see the glitter, but a little bit of a tint? going to come across. Ooh. Ooh. Very good you guys audience. did a great Ooh. job with that. I'm like kind of obsessed with this teal to be honest. This is actually called um, turquoise. Turquoise. Excuse me. Yes, turquoise. So then you're just here again, you're going to give this a minute to set up and dry. And when it dries, it's going to look like this. And if you wanted a little bit more, you could add more glitter. Now, because I'm doing this as a Christmas ornament, and if you don't, this could even be a really cute, just to hang on the doorknob in a beach house. Mm -hmm. That'd be really fun. If you turn it over on this side, I did an anchor. Anchors away for your grandfather, for your papa. Yay, papa. Yay. So, and this is actually the glossy paint that I used on the red. Yeah, it actually has a really nice finish And on I it. used on this side, instead of using the turquoise, I used the, um, this, oh, sugar cube. Sold. Ooh, sugar cube. I Root beer floats and sugar cubes? That Ooh. is my kind of paint. Okay. Just go ahead and tie a simple knot at the top of, uh, with the jute, and you're ready to go. And these are really simple. You could really knock a whole bunch of these out in one evening and uh, give them to all your friends for the holidays. I mean, you know my favorite craft projects are always the easy ones <laughs> that take no time at all. So the uh, Martha Stewart craft line is now available at Michael's. There's uh, a number of different things that go with it, just the tools, the finishes, the amazing paint line, the great stencils. Uh, mm -hmm. Mom? Yes. Another good one. Yay, thank you. And you know, we always say that when creativity knocks, open, open the, the door. door.